going to go see Scream 6 Ah, oh, in Dolby, that's right, in Dolby, but is that any good? We'll talk. Hi, how are you doing today? It's Just Jess here. Hope you're having a good day and today, yes. Yeah, so we got the movie Scream 6. Is this movie worth it to go in Dolby? Honestly, I feel like personally, mostly yes. Why? Because you hear the sounds of the stabs of the killings better. The effective jump scares in this format since it fully utilizes the Dolby experience to jump you in a more enhanced environment than a traditional non-viewing Dolby experience theater. Visually, the blood looks good and also the sounds felt fully utilized in Dolby than your traditional non Dolby experience since Dolby Atmos is surround enhanced better sound. Some scenes vibrate the chairs but this is probably like a gimmick not not all of them. Bonus tip for you folks Demi Lovato's new hit single at the end critics was definitely a cool nice add-on to hear it in Dolby. Scream 6 is a scary bloody slasher horror thriller suspenseful movie for the long-running franchise of Scream series. This movie evolves the series into a new direction although while keeping it close to the tone of the previous installments. It feels like a new episode of the next Generation Castle. It's absolutely a sequel from Scream 5 which came out a year ago which I also reviewed on this channel. You can link below. That was my first time kind of doing YouTube. Well I'm still kind of new doing YouTube now. I went to go watch Scream 5 in Dolby. That's right in Dolby. Not the same theater different theater so I'll link below. Follow the core four as they move to New York after the events that happened in Woodsboro Park after in Scream 5. Well I wouldn't call it Woodsboro Park but just Woodsboro. I watched Scream 5 for the first time last year when it came in theaters which I already told you link below but I also saw Scream 4 online I streamed it to get in preparation for this movie because I knew some legacy characters that were in that movie coming for this film to help them out and this is not spoiler territory she's literally in the poster as well as that I'll show you right now Hayden plays as Kirby which she's awesome guys she is gorgeous oh honestly so I had to get my homework in them for this movie I haven't seen the first story yet but I'm excited to go back and watch them for the first time so this movie is not terms of scary in terms of demonic hell and possession like scary stuff like that but in terms of bloody gore and jump scares like stabbing 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 kind of like that <laughs> sounds weird this is the first time the franchise leaves Foodsboro and plies the formula into a city so I'm really intrigued to see how it works since all the other installments were in Woodsboro town now nah, I don't want to say like just one house but in that town of Woodsboro so remember when Purge 1 came out and then Purge 2 well Purge 2 applies that same formula to the rest of the world since Purge 1 only took in one house but yeah Woodsboro was in many different houses it was literally a town but we have the city now we have subways we have the store that you've seen in the trailer just more expanded on in the rest of the movie the back alleys now keep in mind this is the first time they're using it but it's still it's not like all of it it's like we get the store which you see in the trailers you get the back alleys you also get the subway but you still got the traditional house but even having the set foot in New York was still a good breathtaking fresh experience for the franchise because I'm just like wow like Scream could be literally anywhere since this movie takes place around Halloween in their time period since right now it's in March. But that's just one little gripe and they can absolutely improve that into future but it was a nice direction giving it a refreshed twist on the Scream franchise going forward especially if they do different cities Miami, Los Angeles or even here in Chicago or even again in New York I wouldn't mind going back there because that subway scene that you see in the trailers it's so different once you see it in the theater and I was like wow like it was definitely expanded on with more scenes and different dynamics of what happened to these characters that you think in the trailer it's going one way when in reality it's a whole different scene that from the trailers it's not in terms of misleading but in the terms of like oh my gosh like I never even think that because the trailers cut it up to make you believe what they want you to believe but when you see the movie it was actually a nice experience to see that but fully like longed out like the long play the core four consists of Sam Tara Chad and Mindy with the same actors reprising the roles such as Melissa Barrera and Jenna Ortega and by the way guys what is up with this cast so beautiful gorgeous just women honestly oh can't get enough of them I was literally drooling in the theater I was like oh my god it looks so gorgeous so perfect babes honestly but this time it feels like their connection is deepening since the last installment but also shows us the viewers the emotional connection they have with themselves family and friends the core four but also allowing legacy characters from the past to aid them in surviving this scary journey of ghost phase coming back Sam still feels like the lead since she is the daughter of Billy Loomis Mindy a lover she's awesome she does a 
another great explanation of prequels, sequels, requels, legacy characters, side characters who are the killers, people that get killed. It is nice to see her get her monologue again in this movie, but in New York setting. Tara feels like a more main character this time, not to be sidelined, because remember in Scream 5, Tara, played by Jenny Ortega, was absolute perfection, by the way. She gets more screen time in this one, and she absolutely looks and feels like the little sister to Sam, played by Melissa Barrera, because not even the height difference, just the way she acts at these parties, partying it up, she's drinking, she's trying to hook up. I love this, that we get more screen time of her, because last installment in Scream 5, she was literally in the hospital. But yeah, we get some scenes of her, but now she's like a prevalent role in the core for a group of characters. And of course, it's not like her breakout role in Wednesday had anything to do with that. Wink, wink. I mean, she's gorgeous and beautiful and perfect, whatever she does. And that was the first time I saw her with Scream 5. I knew she was going to be big. I just didn't know how big she was because then she did X as well as Wednesday. I love Chad. Chad is the bro of the dude. He is not only the jock, but he gets closer to one of his companions. Not going to ruin it for you in terms of romantic stuff. And I love romance. Of course, if you know on this channel, I was like, yes, there's absolutely more romance, especially with this core four, because remember in the previous installments, even in Scream 4 and Scream 5, we still had kind of a romance with Gale and Dewey. So now that the core four of the new generation has that romance, I'm happy to see that continuing on in the future. If they do survive, not going to ruin it for you. And sadly, honestly, no Sydney Prescott, but Gale's in this movie. However, I do want to talk about Kirby. Kirby, in addition to her cast role in this, really does help the franchise, bringing back legacy characters as a requel per se, when they did the monologue to help these characters aid in surviving the battle. And you really get to see because she was teased in Scream 5 in the laptops that she was still alive. And I'm really happy that she's back in this role, filling the needs of the companion to help the survivors out. And by the way, guys, she is dropped at gorgeous. Oh, like what is up with this beautiful like movie with beautiful characters? Like, I'm sorry, dude. I am a guy. I love girls. And I just love seeing them on the big screen. I was like, oh, <gasps> like drilling over them. But I love how what happened to her because you get to see like what happened from Scream 4, even all the way to Scream 6. And there's some Easter eggs that I didn't even know about with these characters tying each other together. When I say this is feels like a next generation of Scream movies, Scream 5, really, I said that in review and you can even go watch it. I said that if you never watch a Scream movie, Scream 5 would be a good starting point like me because it just revitalizes the franchise for a new audience, for a new generation audience. Because now that we get like a new generation with the rise of TikTok, Instagram, social media, with phones, we literally have like smartphones now, not back then where it's just like the phone calls. You still get that in this installment as well, but also fleshes out the character dynamics between the cast of characters in this role of the Scream. This has everything you want in a Scream movie. It has funny dialogues, gory moments, teenagers trying to survive the night. Now they're in college. Romance calls, scary bloody phone calls. What is your scary movie? Guess who the killer is? So one of these Scream movies, especially for this one, you can play along with the characters to see ooh, who's going to be the killer or killers. Not going to ruin it for you. I didn't do that even though I could have, but I was just such in awe of the characters that I was seeing that I was so drooling over them with the females. There's a lot of jump scares and there's witty wine liners. This is everything you want in a Scream franchise. Remember, I only saw Scream 5 and Scream 4, but I did love it for what it was. I'm going to give this a B plus in Dolby. That's right, in Dolby. It's a solid movie. I had a great time with it. This is one of the better Scream movies and it's also in the runner up for top 10 best of the year so far. If you made it this far, I appreciate you so much. Maybe consider hitting that like button and turning on notifications so you never miss a video. And with that, take care. Bye.